The Vianna Township police levy that fell through last night has the department scrambling to figure out a solution moving forward. It's less than a month after township trustees announced that more than a million dollars was missing from its finances. The snowball effect is already having an impact on the police department. Corey McCray sat down with the chief in a one on one interview. Good evening, Corey. Derek Madison, good evening. The chief said point blank they're licking their wounds and while he's optimistic that his department will get through this, it's definitely not the position they want to be in. I'm a little disappointed. I am disappointed. We were really counting on that going through. Now the remaining six people that make up the department, including two school resource officers, will have to count on themselves, a result of the police levy being struck down by boaters Tuesday night. We're probably going to be working uh, currently as we are with the skeleton crew. Um, might be one-man shifts, uh, but we're going to be here and we're going to answer calls. The people of Vienna. Just last month, township trustees announced that a million dollars was unaccounted for, resulting in layoffs in both the fire and police departments. And one officer can only be at one place at a time. Loot was hopeful that the tax dollars generated could bring back the two officers that were laid off and pay for a few more hands. Loot says their department played no role in the money going missing. All we do is turn in my officers hours and or uh, uh, a bill for service for an oil change or something like that. While the township awaits answers from the state auditor's office, Lute tells me there are going to be some hard decisions they'll have to make. When and if equipment breaks, which right now I have a radar unit that's broken, normally I'd send that back, get it fixed. And they're costly. Right now it'll stay broken. These are some of the things I'm going to have to do. In the meantime, they'll do whatever it takes to serve their residents. With more local news, I'm Corey McCray.